What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute lower body AMRAP workout. So grab your sliders and your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute lower body AMRAP workout. I'm going to be setting a timer today for four minutes on the clock, one minute of rest in between each AMRAP. We've got a really fun breakdown for each four minute work set. Eight reps of three exercises. One, you'll use both legs. The second and third exercise will be single leg exercises. So a really great workout to zone out and really get into your workout zone. I'm so glad you're here. Let's get you set up so we can get started. Water and a sweat towel as always. A bench for step ups or if you don't have a bench for step ups, you can use a chair or a box or just do forward lunges. I also have my sliders here for hamstring curls and then a yoga block for heel lifted squats, okay? For my dumbbells today, because we're doing eight reps of everything, I want you to try and push up into your heavier weights. I'm gonna try and start from 15 pounds and work my way up to 15, 20, 25, and 30 pounds. So get into those heavier weights today. I am challenging you because I know you can do it, okay? Thumbs up, let's rock right into your warm up. Two and a half minutes of warm up. We're gonna put your hands on your hips and reach it back in two, one, let's go. We're gonna be using quads, hamstrings, and glutes today. I'm excited for this format. I always love an AMRAP workout. You can really get into the tempo that you feel challenges you the most. Good, stay down, hands on the mat. Turn your toes out just a little bit, drop your hips. Good, lift and lower your hips. Go straight leg, bent leg. Straight leg, bent leg. Good job, two more. There you go, on the second one, keep your hips up there, hands out front, kick one leg up and one leg back. Same thing, hips up and down. Stretch the hip flexor when you drop down. The hamstring when you press up. Good, one more. There you go, when you get to the top of the next one, switch your feet, keep moving. Great job, keep your knee out on your front leg. That's it, two more. Lift your hips up at the top of your second one and keep them there. Great job, pedal your heels, both of them down, out back. Warm up the ankles a little bit here. So excited to rock into this workout with you. So excited that you showed up today. Make sure from the start all the way to the end, you have it in your mind that you're gonna crush this. You can and you will. Wide feet, step it out to the edges of your mat, walk it back, and bend one leg, straighten the other. Good job. Four, three, two, one, and slowly make your way back up to the top. Heels to glutes. Open up your chest. Nice work. In 30 seconds, we're gonna get started with your first circuit. You've got front squats, lateral lunge to the left, lateral lunge to the right. Okay, front squats, dumbbell. It's gonna be right here for eight. Okay, then you're gonna take it here either staying here or stepping in and out to the right and then to the left. Okay, so 13 seconds, grab the weights that you wanna use. Eight squats, eight lunges left, eight lunges right. And if you need to modify those lunges, just give me single leg squats. Two, one, let's go. If you're watching the clock, you're looking for 33 on the clock. Good job. On your lunges, feel free to use just one dumbbell. A 
Make sure you're sitting back in your lunge, not bending the knee first, but bending the hip first, and then sitting. Great job. There's minute number one complete. We're on to minute two. Let's get it. Great job, keep working. Sit, 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 and push hard. Think about getting the floor away from you all the time. Great job, minute two. It's complete, you've got two more to go. Let's go minute three. Nice job, feeling the quads warm up. They're already warm, right? <laughs> Feeling them start to work a little harder and then we go into one at a time. Great job, make sure your lateral lunges are nice and wide. You sit back, there's a slight lean but your back is flat. Minute three is done. You've got 60 seconds left in this one. seconds. Come on. Fifteen. Let's go. Let's go. Finish strong. Three, two, one. And rest, beautiful job. Whew. All right, go ahead and grab water. In your rest time, if you're feeling like you wanna rest a little more, give me a squat tap, just stay moving. Exercise, or circuit number two, sumo Romanian deadlifts, RDL left, RDL right. Whew. Okay, so, sorry. Not sumo Romanian deadlift, sumo squats, then RDL left, RDL right, okay? So wide stance in your squat. Toes are pointed forward, but your heels are wider than your hips. Sit here, tap if you can, and up. Eight of those, followed by eight single leg deadlifts. You can tap your foot down if you need to, or you can float it if you feel confident. Eight right, eight left. Are you ready? Let's go, three, two, eight sumo squats, let's go. Nice work, 28 on the clock is what you're looking for to wrap circuit number two. If you're watching, if you're not, just keep rocking, I'll keep you updated.
One minute down, here we go, minute two. Good job. 90 seconds down. Just make sure you're not slowing down here. Single leg moves. I want you to focus a little bit harder, but I don't want you to slow down and rest a ton. Okay, try to keep the tension there. Done, let's go, keep moving. Still with me? You're doing awesome. We've got 90 seconds to go, come on. Sixty seconds, let's go. Nice job, come on. You got thirty seconds left. Maximize all your effort right here. Fifteen. Finish six, five. One, and breathe. Oh. One minute to breathe, to rest, and to make your way down onto the floor. We've got glute bridges, clamshell lift left, clamshell lift right. Tongue twister. <laughs> okay, so if you wanna grab your bands, you can do that. I'm gonna just put a dumbbell on top of my leg for your glute bridges. I want one dumbbell right on your hips. If you wanna do them on the bench, that's totally fine. You're gonna get a bigger range of motion. Probably have an easier time holding that weight. Shoulder blades will be on top. Weight is here, okay? Reach up and under with your glutes. So make sure you're not here. Open ribs, open chin, okay? Tuck it here, tuck it here, tuck it here. Okay, after that, I'm gonna put a 15 pound dumbbell on my leg right here. I'm gonna go up, down, same thing on the other side, okay? Let's go, glute bridge, clamshell left, clamshell right. Four minutes and we're off. Looking for 23 on the clock if you're watching. Great work. Dumbbell or resistance band, doesn't matter. Just make sure you're driving your knee away from the other knee. Hips are open.
Great job, first minute, done. Keep rocking. Good work. Woo. Two minutes down. We're on minute three now. Let's keep rocking. Make sure you're breathing in these transitions. Make sure it's all breathing. And if you need to dial this back, take it straight leg and keep your hip on the floor. We're up and down. Good job. Nice. I'm with you. Come on, I feel it too. We're rocking this out together. Twenty seconds, come on, let's go. Go, go, go. Ten, nine. Finish the one that you're on. And rest. Beautiful. Finish the eight that you're rocking right now. You've got sixty seconds. Breathe. Whew. Okay. Next up, we're back to standing. We've got a back squat, so if you have a barbell and you wanna load that up, totally fine. If not, we're gonna throw a dumbbell on our back. If you don't feel comfortable with that, just bring it right here to your chest. After that, you've got a stagger squat. Okay, so you're gonna hold one dumbbell on the same side as your leg. Stagger, kick, stagger, kick, okay? We want the weight to be in the stagger front leg the entire time, all right? So, back squat weight is gonna be your heaviest. A little transition time to get into the stagger squat. Eight each leg and eight back squats. You know the drill. You're doing great. We got four minutes on the clock and you're looking for 18 if you're watching. Down into the teens. Let's go. Two, one, back squats. And if you want a depth, maybe stick a dumbbell behind you. A little bit wider stance, a little bit lower squat. Nice job. Stagger squat on that kick. Just make sure you're pressing up on the front leg. That's the whole intention of the stagger squat, just to get all your weight in the front leg. 
One minute down. Let's go, minute two. Come on, keep rocking. Almost done with minute two. Two minutes down. seconds to go come on uh, push through yes you should be rocking those weights that really challenge you still okay Nice job. Come on, give me 45 more really great seconds here. I believe in you. You gotta keep believing in you too. seconds. Three, two, one, and you've got one minute rest. Oh, 60 seconds. Breathe deep. We're almost there, guys. Three circuits to go. Rocking into hamstring curls with your sliders if you have them. Hamstring curls right into single leg bridges. All right, so I'm gonna roll my mat in half. Heels are on the sliders. I'll show you different ways to do this, okay? Option one, bridge up. Your hips are always driving up, okay? Most difficult option, both heels out. Keep pulling the heels in and up and under your hips. Option two, Drop the hips, single leg, and lift. Option three, take the feet off the sliders. One and two. Notice I don't dip my hips down, okay? Right after that, after your eight, both legs, eight single leg bridges left, eight bridges right, okay? <sighs> Breathe on this one. This is a tough one, I need you to focus. Two, one, let's go. You're looking for 13 on the clock if you're watching. And if you want to throw a dumbbell on your hip for the bridges, do that.
One minute down, great work. Keep your core tight here as well. Good job, good job. The reason I say keep your core tight is because it's really easy to let your core relax and arch up here, okay? This big arch means a lot of pressure, a lot of requirement on your low back. I wanna keep the core in control the entire time. Minute two is done. We're on to minute three, and you are getting stronger by the second. Okay, don't doubt that. Strength requires pushing your boundary. Push past. Yes, I can. Do it right, do it well. Good work. We officially have 60 seconds left here. Come on. Finish the one that you're on. Three, two, one, and rest. I'm gonna finish my last three, two, one. Take a breather when you're done. We're moving on to a cardio move and then we're slowing it down again. If you have that yoga block, go ahead and grab it for a heel lifted squat. Whew. This circuit and one more. You're doing fantastic. Do not give up on yourself. Okay, pop squats. Eight reps, that's your double leg exercise. Starting in the middle, you have two options. You're gonna squat on the outside, so you can either jump or step out there. So we're here, bring your hands out front. One, two, or one, two. We're going all the way up to eight. Then, you're gonna put your heel, left heel on top of the block. All the weight is in your left ball of your foot. Okay, so you can do whatever you want with this other leg. Eight heel lifted squats left, eight heel lifted squats right. Your weight is right here. Distribute it between your heel and your foot, but I want it to be mainly here. Let's go. Four minutes on the clock, come on. Eight pop squats. And on that heel lifted squat, feel free to hold a dumbbell. If you're ready for that, if you would like to. You're looking for eight minutes left on the clock, if you're watching. Keep going, keep going. First minute 
Officially done. Let's go. Round two or minute two. Great job. Keep it up. Keep it up. Two minutes down. We're on to minute three. Let's rock. Speed that up a little bit if you're on the pop squat. Oh, good job. Make sure you're not just bending, but you're sitting as well. Come on, on those heel lifted squats, just keep going. You got this. You got 30 seconds to go. Don't slow down. Don't give up. Come on, tap and go, tap and go. 15. Five seconds, just keep going. Whatever one you're on, go, go, go. Three, two, one. Oh. You got a minute rest and we've got one more set and I need you to go all out here. Everything that you've got to finish this workout. Step ups, exercise one. You're gonna alternate and you've got four each leg. Okay, so left, right, all the way up to eight. Then you're gonna turn it around. You have the option for your single leg squats with a weight will be obviously the most challenging option. But where to put your other foot? Feel free to sit down, just stand up on one, or just lower on one, stand up with two. Okay, that's gonna be your dial back option. Advanced option will be to have your leg kick out front and stand. Most advanced option, same thing I just did with the dumbbell, okay? So lower with one, push up with two for the most beginner option. All right, step ups. Let's go. Two, one, you got four minutes. Come on, just think four minutes, you and I.
First minute done. Think about your hips. They're back behind your heel as you're seated. As I start pushing into the ground, when I'm standing, I think bring my hips back forward. Okay, that helps me get to full extension. Good job. You are a minute and 40 seconds into this one. Two minutes down. Come on, breathe through it. Remember your strength. got this a minute 15 come on come on just think yes I can yes I will remember a promise at the beginning we can and we will seconds to go. I know you're tired, but I know you've got a little more left in the tank. Whether you believe that or not, act like you do. Come on, step it up. Thirty seconds. If you're on the step up or on the single leg squats, you can alternate to finish your last eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Stand up, roll right into a squat or a wall set right here. Come with me. I know. Breathe and you got it. You're fine. You're good. Come on. Sit down. We got this. You got 60 seconds here. Good. Extend your arms open. Good, lower, tap the floor for five. Five, four, three, two, hold it down on one. Shift left, right, left, right. You're super low in this. Super low, super low. 30 seconds left to go. Tap left and right, left, right. Sit your hips down. Good, come back into the middle. Open your chest up, lift your heels up towards your knees and stay right here for the last 15. Bring your hips back under your ribs. There you go, 12, 11, 10. There you go, you're strong, you're strong. Hit it with the flex, five, four, three, two, one. And you are done, you've made it to your cool down. Stand up, walk it out. We're gonna stretch, don't leave yet. I need you to stretch so you're not so sore tomorrow and the next day, amazing job. Shift the weight onto your right leg. Pull your heel to your glute. And before you head out, don't forget, share the workout, subscribe, and say something in the comments to me that you're proud of for yourself today. Showing up, showing out, deciding in the beginning that you're gonna start and not finish, prioritizing this over something else or over nothing else, right? Doing nothing versus being here working hard. That's a big decision in itself. Switch legs. Whew. If you need to hold on to a wall or something, that's fine. Open up your hips, open up your chest. Breathe deep. Great job. Kick your right heel back behind you and bend that leg. 
And as you breathe out, focus on what you just did and what got you to the mat here today. Switch legs. Heel down in the back, bend the back leg. Good job. If you're pretty mobile, you could scoot your foot back a little bit to help with that. But we're stretching in the back heel. Good job. Take your hands right on your tailbone, push it forward as you exhale. Whatever got you here today, I'm so thankful that that's in your life. Whether that is motivation, which for most of us is not being in the mood to work out every day. Good job, reach up and over. Whether it's motivation, it's just something deeper in your mind that says this is what I do, this is my lifestyle, or a goal that you have to be healthier for your family, to be healthier for your job, to be healthier for your mental health. Switch it over to reach a physical goal, body composition goal, whatever it is. Every goal is valid as long as it's healthy. Great job. Hip circles here. And as you leave the mat today, go forward and remember your why in the circumstances outside of this that require you to dig a little deeper. It's not just the workout that's tough in this journey to see progress. We all know that. Okay, so whatever you use to show up today, use that later in something that's also testing you. Okay, and as you reach your hips back and just fold forward, come down to your shins with a nice straight back, nice straight legs. Good, fill up your rib cage and your belly with lots of air through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Bend your legs, slowly roll up to the top and do that one more time for me. Big deep breath in here. Exhale. And go forward today using your why that got you to the workout to get you through successfully something else that adds to you getting to your goal sooner. Okay, the only thing that's between us and a goal achieved is a little bit of work and a lot, a lot of consistency. Okay, it's nothing rocket science, nothing groundbreaking. It's just doing the little things repetitively, consistently, day in and day out, and not letting one derailed moment derail you from the whole journey, okay? Focus on your habits, focus on what got you here today, and use that later on in your day as well. I love you, and I'm so proud of you. Make sure before you head out, you are subscribed to the channel. If this is your 100th workout or your first workout with me, it just helps our channel continue to reach more people and more bodies, helps more people be happy, healthy, and strong. Give it a thumbs up to let me know that you crushed it, and I'll see you tomorrow.